Good morning, I'm Steve Cherm, CEO of Cherm Media and publisher of OC Metro Business Magazine, and this is a special edition of My Bottom Line for September 2012. What follows is the first of four blogs I wrote while traveling in the Eastern Mediterranean in August. It begins with a cab ride through Athens in economically troubled Greece and ends with impressions about modern day Turkey, principally Istanbul and how this nation is the polar opposite of its neighbor Greece in terms of confidence, growth and power in this pivotal region of the world. To read all of the blogs and see some photos I took on my journey, you can visit the website shown below. And now, dispatches from the road. Athens, Greece. Weaving through the traffic on the outskirts of steamy Athens, the cabbie told a story of spiraling unease, one shared by many in this historic seat of power in the eastern Mediterranean. Come this fall, when the summer tourists have returned to Germany, the U.S., and points beyond, when the stifling heat that bakes this land of olives and ouzo mercifully retreats, the political temperature may reach a boiling point, our driver fears. He believes that his beloved Athens, the only city he has ever called home, may become the stage for world economic headlines yet again. Only this time it could be the final tipping point for Greece. Unemployment hovers near 25%, and this nation of 11 million teeters on the edge of insolvency. It might not be good, says Milton, an English name that the round-faced driver adopted to make it easier for his fares to pronounce. Nobody knows what's next, but this fall could be bad. Rosary beads hang from the rearview mirror of his late model Mercedes. He talks of his two sons and their uncertain future as he stealthily slips past slower traffic, only to be passed by darting motorcyclists who seem unfazed by red lights and honking horns. For months, Greece and its collapsing currency and downtrodden economy has been the focus of intense international debate. Money markets worldwide have risen and fallen on the hopes of saving this country from bankruptcy and sparing the rest of Europe and the U.S. from the crippling domino effect its fall could have on their own sputtering recoveries. While the world waits for this fiscal drama to play out, many Greeks are returning from late summer vacation, even in the face of political strife that Milton says may spill into the streets and crater what stability remains, this nation, as it is done forever, essentially shuts down for the August holiday. It's the Greek way, says Milton, offering a mild defense for behavior that seems so incongruous to the state of affairs here. It speaks to the maddening indifference some world leaders have railed about when it comes to rescuing this country. Greeks' geopolitical importance as a democratic port located on the doorstep of the volatile Middle East has long been noted by American and Western European leaders. Over the last decade, Greece went on a debt binge that came crashing to an end in late 2009, an economic crisis that has decimated the nation's economy, brought down its government, and unleashed increasing social unrest. A delicately knitted bailout supported by European economic consortiums has failed to reverse the freefall because most of the billions of euros sent to Greece has simply been used to pay interest on those loans, not principal. So the Greek economy continues to struggle. But this seems to matter less to Milton, who prefers to talk about Athens beaches and his oldest son, a yacht captain for a well-heeled Greek business, Cyan. Greece has been around a long time, he says, near the end of my 90-minute cab ride from the Athens airport through the center of the city to the harbor. We are survivors, and we will weather the storm. At what price? I just don't know. I'm Steve Cherm, and thank you for watching My Bottom Line for September 2012. Remember, to read more about my travels in the Eastern Mediterranean, visit the link below.